You know, you've had it all along. Before you were even a glimmer in your mother's eyes, you had it. It's the divine DNA, the proof of your eternal existence, the essence of how you know what you know, what drives you, what is ultimately at the core of who you really are without all the other BS that's out there pulling at your attention. Oh, you may not recognize it, and you may have pulled the wool over your own eyes by buying into every pill that's been sold and every diet that's been sold and every sale and buy to get one free kind of deals that come along. Oh, I know you've heard it said as well that it, it comes at a cost, that it takes a great sacrifice in order to gain this wonderful thing, and that you yourself have to accept this wonderful gift in order for it to become something that is now yours. But I'm telling you, that's not true. What is true is this. You've had it all along. The divine DNA of something incredibly special, and you have an exceptional opportunity to share it with the world. But the question is, do you know what that is? Now, I'm not going to lie and tell you that it's not true that there is a cost that comes with knowing this. But it's not a cost of buying into some premise or idea that's out there in this world today. Rather, it's the cost of you taking time and the energy to stop, to quiet yourself, to sit deep within and to begin to uncover the depths of what is going on and what really drives you. It is not defined by your past, and it's not something that defines you based upon your future goals, where you presume to achieve certain great things in life, because that would defeat the point of it being something eternal. But it is right here, right now, present. And it does demand that you actually begin to uncover and pull back the, the curtains of your life to discover what really is operating and driving you beyond all of the things that we're sold on a day in day out basis, beyond all the voices that are screaming in our ears for our attention to define us and to tell us what we have to have in order to be and count and be worth something in this world. And I don't want to pretend to drive people away from actually setting and aspiring to goals, but you need to know that those things do not define who you are. What defines who you are is how you contribute to unity within the community of your existence. And beyond that, how your community also impacts the rest of the world. And, and beyond that, how the world impacts the whole cosmos. Because if we care for ourselves and begin to uncover the depths and the riches of who we really are as we are defined by the spirit within us, the gift of that divine DNA, that spirit of intuition, of collective common sense that we all have and operate by, when we can ultimately discover those things about ourselves and how we uniquely as individuals contribute to that whole, then we begin to truly find out what success really looks like.